everybody! It's time for another Dara Vlogs adventure. In this video, we're gonna be uh, traveling to Vancouver, BC. We're doing this trip because I'm celebrating my mom's birthday. It's my beautiful mom, Maria. We are gonna hop across the border, hopefully eat some good food and see some cool stuff and uh, discover Vancouver. So come along with us, come see what we get up to and hopefully find something fun to do the next time you find yourself in Vancouver. We're in Vancouver. We're staying at the Pan Pacific, which is a really beautiful hotel. It's on the water. Uh, apparently this is where they have a lot of cruises go out of Vancouver. So there's a beautiful Disney cruise out here in front of us. It's gonna make me want to jump aboard. But uh, yeah, it seems pretty cool. There are a bunch of fancy restaurants here. It's a nice hotel. I've stayed here before and it's beautiful. So I'll show you what it looks like. Here we go. Pacific has a beautiful pool. It's cold out and cloudy, but we don't care. We like a good pool. Look at this beautiful pool, and it's a beautiful view. How could you not use it? First night out, we're gonna go have dinner at Gotham Steakhouse. Apparently this is supposed to be a fancy place to eat and it felt fitting to take my mom on her birthday. So let's go check out the menu, the cocktails. Let's go have some good food, hopefully. Thank you. 
The food at Gotham Steakhouse is very good. Everything that we got was really rich and expensive, <laughs> but I think it's because it was so good. It was very good. The steak was great. Um, it was a little bit rarer than I thought it would be, but still tasted very good. And the dessert, the key lime pie, oh boy. Our uh, waiter suggested that and it was a good choice. Very good, recommended for sure. Good morning, welcome to day two. It's a bit of a gloomy day outside, but we're not gonna let that stop us. We're gonna go get some tasty breakfast at Cafe Medina, which is supposed to be a popular spot for breakfast. The rest of the day is our oyster. We were going to go to Granville Island today, but I think we might um, try to wait until tomorrow when it's supposed to actually be sunny out. It might be a better time to go explore the island. So today might be a good day to just jump in the car and go drive around, maybe see Stanley Park so that we don't spend all of our time in downtown Vancouver, although it is very beautiful and worth spending time in. Let's go get some breakfast. Breakfast here was very good. The waffles are what people say is the reason that this place is very good. And I think that's true because we got the skillets and the skillets, they're like the cast iron skillets. Those were very good too. I liked hers, the braised beef one better than mine, which was like the sausage and bacony one. But the waffles, I feel like we should have just gotten a million waffles and tried all of the sauces because the sauces were really good. All right, now we're just gonna go walk around, look around a little bit before we go see some other parts of um, Vancouver. So we're currently checking out Stanley Park. This place is really cool. There's like a ton of stuff here. It's a huge park. Not only are there park things, there are also like experiences here, like this cool water park for kids. It's a very cold day. Otherwise we might've brought some suits and jumped in. There's also the aquarium, which looks amazing. Uh, they also have some rose gardens and just really pretty flowers blooming right now. And it's really close to the waterfront. So there's just a lot to see and do here. Honestly, you could spend the majority of a day just hanging out and walking around maybe rent a bike and come bike around down here. It's really cool.
we're not gonna use it, but this is Second Beach Pool. So we're really near Second Beach, which is a little beach that you could go to. And they have this pool that is all outdoor. It's a heated pool and you can reserve a time to use it. And I think they let you go for two hours and it's really inexpensive. I think it's like five or six dollars per person. It looks out like on the city, like past the water. Really cool, really cool for a public pool. All right, it's dinner time. It feels like it's always dinner time at the Dara, doesn't it? <laughs> We're eating at Cadero's today. It's really cool location. It's like right on the water and next to a bunch of boats. Looks very fancy and uh, had very good reviews on the Googles. Let's see what we can get. Food was really good. I think that the best thing that we had was the prawn sizzle, which wasn't very big, but it, the prawns were so good and they were in a really good sauce and they give you some bread to dip in the sauce and it was very delicious. I would order that again. Not a bad place. I mean, you're getting some pretty good ambiance and when it's nice out, you can sit outside right on the marina, basically. Pretty cool place. Good morning! It is our last day in Vancouver. Today we're eating at Raisu. It is a Japanese restaurant. A special thing that they serve is a really cool bento box. You have to call at least 24 hours in advance to put your order in. The food at Raisu was very good. Did you like the food at Raisu? Delicious, I love it. Mm. <laughs> it was a little different for her because it's uh, Japanese food. She doesn't eat Japanese food often, but boy, that bento box was so fun and so pretty. I would say I really liked a third of it. I liked another third and like the last third was like stuff probably wouldn't order again, but it was fun to try. But also that beef sizzling Wagyu beef bowl rice. So good. It was very yummy, very soft beef. Now we're at the Hornsby Ferry Dock. We're going to take the Aqua Bus. 
which is a little tiny ferry that will take us across the water to Granville Island. We're gonna go explore the island, see the market, maybe buy some tasty treats to take home since we're driving back today. We've left Granville Island. We found some fruits and some macaroons that we'll try a little bit later. And we decided to stop at a Marshalls before we go home. We're curious to see if the Marshalls in Canada is any different than the Marshalls in Washington State. Probably isn't, but maybe we'll find some cool duds. different stuff I maybe this just isn't like the best marshals in Vancouver I thought that they had different stuff than what I see in Washington but like I also didn't find anything so it's okay it was all right yeah. at least to know the difference yeah Last stop on our trip, we've driven a little ways out of Vancouver. We're in New Westminster, I believe, to get a snack for the road. And I'm hoping that my mom will be delighted because I found Brazilian pastéis. This place is called What A Food, and it's got Brazilian street food, baby. You wanna get some pastéis, pastel? Yes, yes. <laughs> What a food, great Brazilian street food. And it's not the trip to Canada without a mini stop at Tim Hortons. It's 
don't come at me all I just got a hot tea uh, I'm not we've been eating all day I'm not gonna do the donuts that I know are not that great from everything I've heard but I can do a tea keep me awake on the road that concludes our Vancouver travel vlog thank you all so much for joining me coming along I hope that you had fun seeing what I got up to and I hope to see you again soon for another travel adventure bye